Okay, so today's investigation is about fiber optics. Um, to use this, you're going to need um, the equipment that you see on the screen now laid out in front of you. So the first thing you need is this, is an LED investigations board. We use this for a number of different things. Today, we're going to be using it for, uh, to supply this, which is an um, LED emitter. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to take the cable from our LED emitter, take the connector, and plug it in to the LED investigations board where it says V here. The second thing we need is the battery pack. That looks like this, and it contains four AA batteries inside here. It has a switch, it should be set to off. Please leave it off until you need it. Once you've um, got it though, you can plug it into the top left-hand corner of the LED investigations board here, where it says six volts. When you turn the battery pack on, you may be able to adjust the voltage and provide um, light coming out of the um, LED. If that doesn't work, you need to take the connector from the LED out of the board and turn it round. It only works one way round, so work out which way it is. There we go. And now you can see red light coming out of the LED. That's the first part set up for the moment. For the other half, what you're going to use is this. This looks very similar to your LED, but in fact it's the opposite. It's a, it's a receiver, whereas the other one is an emitter, this is a receiver. And it's attached to a white cable with what looks like a headphone jack on the end. Um, you need to attach this to the other little circuit board you have. Now this is a light sensor, it contains two light sensors in fact, um, but one of which you are going to plug in here. So where it says photodiode on the bottom left, you plug in the headphone jack into that socket. You then have this connector here. It's um, a sim similar connector to on the other side, but it's connected to two, a, a red and a black um, electrical lead. Once again, you connect this to the V symbol at the top right of the light sensor board. At the moment, it doesn't matter which way round you connect this, so just push it on, be careful, because these are fragile. You then need a voltmeter. This should be set to 2000 M, which means 2000 millivolts on the left-hand side. At the moment, it should read zero, because you have nothing connected to it. Plug your two leads into the um, voltmeter. If, they, if your voltmeter reads a minus number, take them out again and switch them around until it reads a positive number. So here we go, that is reading 198. Now this reading is actually coming from our light sensor here. Now you can see that as soon as I take it away from the light, it goes down. If I cover this up, it goes down to nearly zero. So in fact, it's a reflection of how much light is getting into our sensor. And that's what we're gonna be investigating. So, we now have our two things set up. We have an emitter and we have a receiver. And we have some way of working out how much light is being received. So, what we're going to do next is we're going to take, put these a certain distance away. You're going to be using these straws to represent fiber optic cables. You have several different colors. You have a green, you have yellow, you have purple, you have orange, black, clear. You also have a metal hollow tube and you have a glass tube. They are all exactly the same length. First, you take one of these straws, you place it in between the two emitters. You don't need to connect them yet. We just want them the right distance apart at the moment. Now what you must do is you need to take your LED investigations board. Look at this dial here. It says vary voltage. Turn the dial to the left until the reading on the voltmeter is at about, if possible, about 120. It doesn't have to be perfect, but about 120. Now this represents how much light is going from here to here at the moment. 
Now we're going to slightly change this. Now we're going to put a straw in the middle and we're going to see if the reading changes. Now you can see that that's now gone up to 214. So by putting the straw in the middle, we've increased the amount of light that's being transmitted from here to here. What you need to do is try the same thing with the rest of the straws. And I want you to find out which one is the best at transmitting light. Good luck and off you go.